Hello and welcome to the 50th episode of Demo Reel. As always, I'm your host, Daniel Photoson, and today we've got um, a disc that I'm, I'm really excited for. I, uh, I recently came into this disc, but as soon as I got it, I was like, I want to use this one for uh, my 50th episode, because it's, I'm pretty sure, the oldest disc that I, well, in my collection, but certainly that I've played on this show. Uh, this disc came out in 96, and to put that into perspective, the very, fir uh, the very first uh, disc that came out by official PlayStation Magazine came out in October of 97. Um, and I'm sitting on that one, I'll be playing it eventually, but I wanted to do this one here. It's got, um, it's got some games on it that I'm kind of interested to play. Uh, some that I don't even know what are. But also, just look at this opening video. Like, this frenetic, uh, very, very 90s opening. It's just so, it's so bizarre to see it. But here we've got the menu, which is also very different than anything we've had before, which is one by one drops in these these games here, and we're going to take a closer look at them here in a second. The uh, I should mention the bottom row there, I believe are all videos. Um, they aren't playable games, but here we go. <laughs> Finally, they all came down. Uh, this is NBA Shootout here. Then the Die Hard Trilogy, which I'm interested to play. VR Soccer is next. And then The Need for Speed, uh, the first one, I, I presume. And just look at look how old that looks compared to like the, the ones that are coming out now. <laughs> I know that's obvious, but it's just, I just want to make that point. Uh, Warhawk, down here, and then something called Bogey, uh, which is interesting. Chronicles of the Sword, which I haven't haven't heard of, but it looks kind of cool. Assault Rigs, um, and then down here we've got the videos for Crazy Ivan, um, what is this, what does that say? Uh, Aquanauts Holiday, when you, when you, when I'm over it, I can't actually read the name. MLB, Pennant Race, and Street Fighter Alpha, all the videos, just some other games that are coming out in the time. Crazy Ivan has a really cool sounding name, but it looks like it's like a tank shooter, maybe? Um, Street Fighter Alpha would have been cool to play, but let's go ahead and jump in to NBA Shootout, uh, kicking it off with um, with this game. Looks uh, looks pretty straightforward. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how this works out here, uh, since we've never played an NBA game this old. Unfortunately, I'm no expert on the NBA franchise of games, so I don't really know how Shootout relates to the other uh, games. I do feel like... Maybe we've played a later shootout game? I'm not sure. Let's see, we can play Orlando Magic or the Phoenix Suns. Um, I'm in the mood for a little bit of magic. Uh, it's our 50th episode here. Magic's in the air. So, we'll play We'll play them. I'm not expecting to do well here. Though, um, this is a little odd. I hope it didn't lock up on me. No? Okay. Hey. <laughs> uh, it was just stopped and had a ticking noise. I thought it was, like, done, but... Um, here we go. I think... Um, I can't... Okay. I'm the white team. Alright. I actually had no idea who I was. Um, but I, I found... Eventually found the green cursor, so now I, I'm me. It looks like Finley there got a, a shot in, unfortunately. <laughs> well, um, maybe we can head, make a little bit of headway here. I, haven't, I didn't actually pay that close attention to the... Well, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Um, I don't know how, how to pass here. I think, um... Like, I think I get it, but, uh, yeah, they've scored on us twice now. Like, I, I press X to pass here, but, like, yeah, I, I, it's not automatic. It doesn't do it for you like a lot of the more recent games tend to. Um, you have to be aiming in the right direction, otherwise they'll get it from you. Uh, so, I need to be very cautious of that, because so far, every time I've tried to pass except, like, the very first time, the other team's gotten it. But, um, well... What did I do? I don't even know what I did. Okay, we'll we'll figure this out. Um, wait, did we change directions? Or no, maybe not. Uh, I got confused because we were. Hold on, how do I? Wait, the foul? Did did I foul? I pressed square. Did square make me foul? I fouled. Um, okay. Yeah, I obviously have not figured out how to play this yet. Um, oh, I blocked it, but it went out of bounds. Okay. Whose ball is it though? It's it's still their ball. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm awful at this. I I do kind of. Um. I do kind of get the way it's supposed to work. Oh, is that it? That's the first quarter. Okay. Let I don't know how much time we'll get to play here. If we're gonna play more than one quarter, or uh, it went to black. I guess that's it. That went by a lot faster than I thought it would. But let's go ahead and jump in with the Die Hard trilogy here, which is probably the game I'm most interested in. Just seeing what it's like. We've got. Rockets, fire, grenade, um, all kinds of crazy stuff here on the, the controls at least. And uh, we'll, 
<laughs> we'll see how that translates into the game. I uh, I should mention that I am a really big fan of the original Die Hard film, uh, and to a, a, a lesser extent, or, or I should say a, a different extent, the third one. I really like Die Hard three as well. But um, yeah, this is uh this is going to be interesting for me here just to see uh, how they how they do this. It's called the Die Hard trilogy, so I'm guessing that means it's got the, all three games in here, but. We're on, oh crap, we're on Die Hard 2 though, um, Die Harder, okay, so, um, I guess we're, are we in the airport here? Is that what this is? Or is this, um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't remember Die Hard 2 that well. It is interesting, we've got kind of like a, almost like a credits thing going on here, um, wow, this is really arcade looking, I, I kind of love it, um, got, Okay, that was the video that came out because I didn't select play demo fast enough. I thought it went straight into. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm in a first-person view with a with a crosshairs here. I guess I can shoot people, but I don't see anybody that looks like a terrorist. That like those are cop cars. Um, I'm assuming that's a police helicopter. Uh, I don't know. Who am I supposed to be shooting? Wait, did I see. Okay, I guess these people over here. This is wow. This is weird. Um. Okay, I, uh, um, alright, whoa, I, crap, I accidentally shot somebody. All the, all the terrorists are, like, behind people, almost. It's very, um, upsetting. I don't wanna, don't wanna hurt anybody, but, um, oh, major disaster, what happened? I have no idea what happened, I pressed, um, crap, there's people on fire. Um, what is happening? Did I just get abducted? Game over. Okay, um, yippee ki -yay. Uh, choose your villains? Wait, is are these all villains from the movies? That guy's on fire! The tea is on fire! Okay. That guy's a skeleton. Um, alright. So, this is the best name input I've ever seen. Hold on. Um, got an N. He's running around here with me now, that's awesome. This is crazy. I love this. This is awesome. I, how have I not heard of this game? Okay, and then, uh, R. Perfect. Okay, now, start, I guess? Yeah, and then they all scatter, just walking off there. Um, I guess they'll run around. Okay, I'm number one! Look at that. <laughs> this must have really lame opening scores if I'm number one there, but... Here, press start to skip. These demos are coming in really fast and quick, like... They're they're over almost as soon as they started. It feels like I feel I'm I'm like my heart is racing because they're going by so quickly, um, which is is kind of surprising. But I guess not so much since this is such a really old disc. I guess I shouldn't expect it to have really long demos, especially since it's got quite a few compared to some of the other ones that came out later than this. But um, this here is VR Soccer, so we'll go ahead and jump in and see. Uh, I guess a few minutes of it. We'll see just how uh, just how long it ends up being. It, um, I like, I like anything with VR in it. I don't know why. It's just, it's just this really retro way of saying that it's, like, simulated, you know? Um, VR Soccer 96. Like, that's, it's, I don't know. There's something really, um, charming about, about a title like that. Even though it's a soccer game. And I, traditionally, I hate soccer games. I've played a lot of them on this show. And I've, I've never once been, like, enthralled in one. And I doubt I will be in this one either. But um, on the bright side, I don't have to worry about this one going on 20 minutes if the past few games are any indication. Um, I don't even know who I am. Looks like we're playing USA versus Russia. So I'm assuming I'm going to be USA here. Uh, looks like I can't even tell who has the ball though. Wait, okay. I'm I'm the blue one. Wow. Oh my gosh, this does not control well. Okay, um, that's me. Um, all right, that's my goal. I don't want that one. Um, <laughs> this is awful. Okay, um, I need to, I should be really light on it because it is like super old. Wait, hold on, I was wrong. That the guy was wearing blue, so I assumed he was my team. But the the uh, the, the other team just tried to score on that side. So I guess I am on this side. I just um, let's see, how do I change players? Can I can I even um? It's been ch it's like changing them for me. I don't seem to have a whole lot of control over it. Um, okay, he caught he kicked it out of bounds there. Um, I'm having a hard time following this. Um, okay, here we go. It's um one thing that's really cool about these older sports games is how fast-paced they are. 
Um, right, this is really, really fast and chaotic compared to the other uh, soccer games we played, and that's partly because they still, I don't know, it's just, the only way I know to describe it, because I don't have the right vocabulary, is to say it's arcade or like an arcade-type gameplay where it's just this fast-paced, um, like, way faster than real soccer. Like, the, you watch us running around the field, um, real soccer players don't run this fast a lot of the time, like, not all of them are running fast, but when they when they do, they run really fast, and they kick fast, and it's hard to keep track of the ball even. I, I have no idea where it is half the time. Okay, it's, it came over this way. There it goes out of bounds. Um, I cannot keep track of this ball at all. It's so small on this screen. Um, it just disappears sometimes. But I think, let's see, we've got it. I don't know how to try and score. I just passed it to the other team. There it goes. Bounce it back. Um, but, you know... Later games would slow down sports uh, in general, just to try and get that more realistic feel where you want you want people to feel like it's actually happening, and that's kind of the goal of most realistic sports games. And that's why I find most realistic sports games really boring, um, because I don't enjoy the sports when they're the real sports, so of course I don't want to play a realistic version of them. So this is actually way more up my alley, even though I can't play it, because I can't keep track of the, the tiny, tiny ball. Um, like this just the gameplay here is a little bit more interesting to me it's still not fun like this is still not something i would ever play on my own but um oh no the goal was scored by uh somebody i didn't even see who but um goal i like the, the screen up there that's pretty cool um let's see are we starting back in the middle now okay but my guy's way off on the on the right there right like that's what that Arrow means okay. Wait, now now he's in the middle. Okay, what? I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, where, uh, where am I half the time? I I I don't know. The little tiny cursor isn't. Sometimes it disappears and sometimes it changes shape. I don't know. Um, I don't know why it changes between like a circle or a triangle or sometimes it doesn't even look like either. It just it looks almost almost like a gear sometimes. I don't know if that's just because. Of the really pixelated circle or, or what but I would assume so I don't know why there would be a gear but um we went out of bounds so now I have to kick it back out again I am not expecting to score at all in this game this is gonna go a lot like the um the basketball did except at least in the basketball one I could usually at least tell who had the ball I think I have the ball now but um wait no they stole it from me okay I did have the ball but they stole it from me I have it now I, ah, they stole it back um, intercepted. Okay, I caught it. My goalie caught it, I should say. Um, come on, I just I would really like to score just once. I want to see that goal screen again, but I, hopefully for my team instead of the others. Oh, there's halftime. Um, I wonder if we'll probably end here. I don't know. We'll we'll see how the demo plays out, but I guess would be it would end at halftime, based on the way the the past two games have been, where they stop at the first possible convenience. Uh, and yeah, there's the legal information. Um, do headers, chip shots, bicycle kicks, passes, and more. And it's got a phone number you can call to get more information. Alright, so this is the Need for Speed. Um, I, I presume going to be a pretty straightforward racing game here. Uh, and I've never actually played any of the Need for Speed games. Although it is interesting that they, they dropped off the, the, um, at the, uh, in the other tiles. It's just like Need for Speed Underground or Need for Speed Rivals. Um, I mean, there was a, a movie, too, that came out recently I also haven't seen. I just don't have any connection to this franchise, so I don't know anything about it, really, other than that it's racing. I'm pretty sure the later games have, like, storylines and stuff, but I don't I don't know if this one does. Um, and to be honest, I'm, I'm only guessing that they have storylines based on the, the titles and some of the advertising, but it looks like single race is all we've got here. Though there's, like, tournaments and time trials and stuff, too. Uh, let's see. Coastal is our only option here. Um, wait, it's, uh, go back to Coastal. I want to select it. How do I, I must have, act, I, I'm not, I wasn't sure what I did to cycle through it, but I see now that it's just left and right down there. I must have pressed it without thinking. There we go, okay. Coastal. <laughs> That's all I want. Um, at a glance, Dodge Viper RT10. Um, yeah, at, the at a glance is like the, the stats. There's nothing on that for the the single race here, the pack. I I don't know what most of this stuff means. I, I'm not familiar with these menus or anything. There's a picture of a car. That's nice. Um, doesn't really... Something looks weird about it. Like, it's not 
quite sitting on that plane. I don't know if that's just the angle that is messing with me or if it's photoshopped or what. But anyway, um, the cars in the game are not going to look this good. Obviously, this is a uh, an early PS1 game, so they're going to be pretty um, pretty blocky, but that, that's okay. But as long as the gameplay works out fine. Um, kind of interesting that we're stuck in the... Um, Let's see, okay. Oh, I did change gear. That's interesting. Um, there we go. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't go right off the bat because I wasn't in, I wasn't in gear, which is interesting. Uh, I had to, like, press R1 to get it to start moving. Uh, we're moving now. We're behind everybody because of that, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll catch up here. I don't know. Probably not. It is interesting. I'm always confused by the games that put you in first person to start with. Let's see if I can switch out here. Yeah, like, like, how many people really play these games in first person? Um, unless you're doing, like, a, an arcade game. Uh, like, the ones where you're actually sitting in, like, a chair and you you have a wheel in your hand and it feels like you're driving the car a bit anyway. Um, those ones, it makes a little bit more sense to me to have in, um, in, in first person like that. But I don't, I don't understand why you would want your, uh... PlayStation game that way. We're slowing down a little bit. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know anything about <laughs> racing mechanics, and we've encountered this problem before with later racing games that um, try really hard to have really um, realistic racing controls rather than just plain driving controls, where it's just like go, stop, reverse, things like that. Where you got like different gears and um, stuff like that. And I, I guess racing fans would probably be really into that. They're like. I'm just trying to figure out why I'm down under 100 miles per hour now, but um, well I guess the other people are too since I passed somebody, which is weird, going kind of the slowest I've gone since we really started getting going, we're going back up now, um, I'm not sure exactly what causes that, but we're up in 5th now, that's actually um, pretty good for me, <laughs> my first run here with this race, uh, in this game, I've, like I said, never, never played any of the games in this franchise before, I don't know anything about them, but uh, I don't know, this seems fine to me for the, like the time period. Uh, obviously it doesn't hold up that well today, um, just because of how old it is, but like it seems, I don't know, it seems like how I would expect a, a realistic looking racing game from this time period to be. So yeah, it's just kind of boring is all. Just uh, And I don't know how much, how many games that were like this at the time, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this was really new for, uh, for console gaming at the time. I really don't know. Um, I don't have the right perspective on it. For me, playing this in 2014, though, it is, it is a little bit boring. Um, I spun out. Yeah, I guess it, because, uh, we finished the race there a bit. Okay, that was Need for Speed. It's got two players split, split screen, which is a feature they want to advertise. Six tracks and one bonus track. Really basic stuff. Um, but again, it's, it's early, so it's not surprising. I, I really don't know how many other 3D racers that were like this at the time. But, um, let's see, we play with eight camera angles. Supports link up cables, support memory cards, supports analog controller. These things seem like givens to me. Road and track statistics, narration, and video on each car. That's kind of neat. Alright, this is Assault Rigs. Um, I don't actually know anything about this one. Just look at the controls here real quick. Looks like, between this and the video footage we saw, I guess we'll be driving a tank around. Um, that on uh, the title kind of um, implies something along those lines as well, but um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see in here. I haven't actually heard of this one, and I haven't I haven't well I haven't heard of a lot of them on this disc uh, that didn't end up becoming franchises. This was just this was bef I guess you could say this was before my time. Like obviously I was alive in '96, uh, but uh, I didn't have a PlayStation yet, so I wasn't playing these games. And this um this is interesting, huh? Uh. Let's see, how do I... Okay, there we go. Uh, this is an angle I can work with. It's... This tank moves way faster than I thought it would when I first, um... Like, started playing. I... Uh, I assumed the tank would be kind of slow, like a tank. I also didn't think it would be firing triangles? Is that what we're shooting? Just like... Pyramids? I don't know. It... Okay, we got blown up. Um... Hopefully we're gonna play a little bit more there than just that. No? Um, well here, I'll, I'll load it up and we'll try that again. That went by way too fast. And I know that they're all kind of going by too fast in this one. Um, 
Like, that's kind of been a recurring theme. Oh, we got some different ammo here. I'm just... I feel like we didn't get a chance to really see any of this. And I've... You know, I thought about playing um, the Die Hard one again, too, because I was really looking forward to that, and then it went by so quickly. But to be honest, as many times as I tried playing it, and I did try playing it a few times, I was not able to get more than a few seconds further than we did the first time. Um... Still haven't quite figured out a lot of the gameplay here, but um, it is interesting how quick and maneuverable we are in this tank. Like, this is not like any tank I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, I keep thinking, there's like these gems floating there, I keep thinking they're like floating uh, targets, but they're not. They're like something we need to pick up. Um, there's a little voice, I don't know if you guys can hear it, that's like commenting when we when we hit something it'll be like great shot or something like that it's kind of cheesy but I like it um, yeah there there it was there if you can if you can hear it I'll try and make sure you can but um you know let's well something's shooting at us from behind here uh, did I miss somebody oh there's a guy there okay I uh I keep getting turned around this place is a maze thankfully there's arrows showing us where to go but at the same time it's easy for me to not see somebody um, like, I think, I thought I saw somebody shooting at us, but I didn't see where it came from. But, oh well. Uh, we, we are getting to see a little bit more of this level now. It, oh, there we go. As soon as we get up here. That'll have to do it, though. I can't, um, I can't keep playing it forever, but, yeah, 40 levels of frantic rig action, which, yeah, this is kind of neat. Um, I never heard of it before, but it's, uh, it's kind of cool. Alright, so this is Chronicles of the Sword, and... These are some interesting controls. I'm never... I, I'm always wary when our controls look more like menu controls than, than game controls. Let's see what, what this is like. The video made it seem like a... Uh, like kind of like an RPG maybe? Or maybe something like uh, like King's Quest? Uh, is that what I want to think of? I don't know. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> um, this is... Uh, interesting. This, I don't know, like, it's, there's something kind of charming about how, like, awful that looked. <laughs> like, the, like, lagging fire around the sword covering up the name. I don't know. It's kind of charming. But here we go, okay. Really, um, really old looking. <laughs> we gotta load. It just showed him walking a few steps and we gotta load. Like, why even show him walking up to the house if that's all, if that's all you're gonna have to do before you have to load something? Um... Okay, I should make clear I'm not controlling anything right now. I'm not pressing any buttons. Uh, so I was, like, it's not me walking around. I'm watching a guy walk around. This is more, this is effectively a cutscene here. Um, okay, there's a skeleton. Are we gonna fight it? Or, well, we're loading. Are we loading up a battle screen, maybe? Uh, no. We're at a castle. Okay, is that the same guy? I can't... I'm not even sure. Is that... I don't think it, it... Like, why would it be the same guy unless this this is like a flashback? Or the other thing was a flashback? Uh... I have no idea what's happening right now. Uh... I... <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out... Okay, wait, there's a sword. Alright. Is this the chronicles of that sword? Or... I don't know, there's a blacksmith in the background. Okay, it's not that sword. He's ignoring that sword. He's gonna go talk to the blacksmith we saw him for a second this is some of the worst editing I've ever seen like as far as just like the decisions of what to show us and how long to show us things is this is terrible um let's see is that like a beehive why why did we have to see him walk past that why are we seeing him do random things is this what the, this can't be what the game is like though right like surely the developers of this game just developed like maps and a character but didn't have any gameplay worked out so they worked this out to show what the game looks like because in 1996 this would have looked impressive right like that's the only thing i can imagine is that they're just trying to just to show what the game looks like but they don't have any gameplay like this is kind of neat looking but we're not i'm not playing i'm not doing anything i'm just i don't know if this was framed like a cutscene where things were happening, I would be a little bit more lenient, but so far we have seen nothing actually happen. 
we've just seen this this guy walk from place to place and something will start to happen he'll start to have a conversation or encounter a skeleton or or something and then suddenly we're watching him in a different place that I don't yeah like here he just teleported to this tower uh this isn't like if this is all you have why even release it as a playable demo why not just have it be one of the videos on the disc right like uh you could have put together a more interesting video than this. You could have had like a voiceover or text or something if you just wanted to demonstrate that the game looks neat. Uh, I, I really don't know. Um, it was like a triceratops, and now we're down here in this cavern. This torch is everywhere. Uh, I love the walk animation. It's so awkward. Um, this, like, it feels really '90s, and if you're into that. This is probably doing it for you, but, uh, wow, it's just, um, it's just awkward that I'm not doing anything. Uh, like, I'm not even pressing X to go to the next scene. Like, wow, okay, that's something. I wish I could interact with it. Um, this must be, like, the cutscenes they have pl they have set up between the gameplay, maybe? Like, we're seeing... That's why they're so short, is because it's just like, this is the animation when you select the house, and then like shows him walking to the house for a few seconds, but that's all it does, and then there's gameplay or something. Uh, I don't know, I don't know anything about this game as part of the problem. I've never heard of it or played it or anything, uh, so I can't, I can't frame this with the actual game. Maybe somebody who had played it would be able to, but I don't... <laughs> <laughs> what was he looking at? That skeleton got him. Um, was I supposed to be doing something? The, the demo's over. Okay. Oh, we're back in the menu. I just, I guess we'll just go ahead and jump back and, uh, um, what was it? Bogey Dead 6 here, which looks like, yeah, look, look at this. We get to do things in this game. It's going to be such an interesting change of pace from uh, Chronicles of the Sword. I'm sorry, I just can't get over that last game. Um, anyway, Bogey Dead 6, uh, I don't know, it's got an interesting name. I'm kind of curious to see. It looked like a, um, some kind of flight simulator? Yeah. So we've played some games like this before. Um, let's see. It's, uh, looks like holding circle down will fire my machine gun. Though it's awfully hard to, like, fly straight here. Um, I've never, I've never really been good at the controls here. Though, I should say, the, uh, machine gun sound? is really obnoxious um it's probably going to be a bit muted for you guys but it just uh it's killing my ears right now in these headphones <laughs> i i really want to look up the uh that i killed myself uh can i play that again i loaded it back up for another quick run this one probably won't last a whole lot longer than the first one did i just want to try and see if we can get a little bit further here <laughs> um the, uh, well, oh, right, I, when, when I killed myself, I was saying, I kind of want to look up the, um, the trailer video to, uh, Chronicles of the Sword. The, um, let's see, I got some missiles here I haven't really been using. But anyway, one thing I haven't really noticed, or mentioned on this game, uh, this disc here, is that the, um, the games all have individual trailers. Like, each playable demo on here has a trailer as well that will show up if you leave your cursor over it. Uh, I'm just kind of curious because like Chronicles of the Sword was basically a trailer anyway. I got a shot. Um, I can't, I don't know how to do like an evasive maneuver here. Um, I'm trying pressing just random stuff but uh, <laughs> we did lots of flips there. I don't know if it helped anything but um, I'm just curious how it would advertise itself and I don't know maybe we'll get the chance to go and look at that uh, together. I don't, but right now, this game is exactly like the like Ace Combat games we played later. It's just simpler graphics. Like the gameplay here for me is completely indistinguishable uh, from those games, and that's because there's not really a whole lot of variety you can do with a game like this, other than just stuff that like plane nerds would recognize, like different plane models and things like that. But stuff that I would just be completely blind to. Um, Let's see. I, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get to where I'm facing somebody, but I keep 
I don't know, I've lost track of every other plane on this, uh, on the field here. Um, it is kind of interesting that the, the sky just becomes this wall of clouds at some point. Like, and I can't even, like, fly into it. It's just this sea of clouds here I can't do anything with. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the... There's a, a number that's counting down in the corner. I guess, is that maybe, like, a timer for the demo? When that runs out, that's when the demo's over, if, we, if we're still alive. I'm assuming um, I don't think I'll live that long. I'm probably going to crash myself again. I almost did there, just flying into the ground. I'm, that's how bad I am at doing this like first-person uh, flight simulation stuff. I just can't do it. Um, I've, I have I could probably learn it, but I haven't been able to yet. Uh, I haven't even been able to really figure out a good way to like turn. Like I know you can't just do like an about face in a plane. I get that, but I can't. I haven't quite figured out the proper way to do uh, a turnaround where I'm facing the opposite direction. Um, I just, I have a hard time even telling what I'm doing a lot of the time in these games. I, there's a little picture of a plane in the corner that shows how we're oriented to help me be, because just the first person view by itself isn't, yeah, mission timeout. Um, I don't know, yeah, it's Ace Combat, it's the same thing for me. Alright, so this is Warhawk, uh, which I kind of expect to be a lot like uh, Bogey was. It just, um, it looks like it's also a flight simulation battle type thing, though maybe not first person like that was. But this is going to be our last uh, our last demo here, um, which is kind of sad, because uh, I've had a lot of fun with these games, but they've gone by so fast. Find and, find and retrieve this canister. Okay, um, I'm looking for a red canister. That was an interesting transition. Alright, so this is first person, but I'm not... Am I a plane? I guess? The sec it's it's kind of remarkable how these two very simplistic games manage to look a lot... Like, simplistic in terms of, like, graphics abilities and um, the fact that they're both the same genre still look very different. Have you, like... Oops, I just flew right into that building. Um, <laughs> Didn't die, though, somehow. Uh, that's good, I guess, but lock-ons are loaded. I don't know what that means. Um... Let's see, I need to, I need to find a way to propel forward. Anyway, like I was trying to say, th these games look very different, which is kind of cool. You don't see that as much these days because everything look just looks realistic. So there's not as much room for stylization, and so like, like these games still look pretty similar, um, but they're, like I could tell them apart. You know, um, I got hit by lightning. I don't know. This one's a little bit more sci-fi. Than, uh, than Bogey was, but uh, like there's like lasers or, or like some kind of electric field, and I've got like a force field thing. So this is probably supposed to be more like a more like a space fighter, maybe, and maybe like this level is just on like a desert. Like if this was a Star Wars game, we'd be on Tatooine here. But uh, I don't think it. Uh, and maybe actually that probably is what it's going for, something like that. I don't know. Um, but we've got like this. Uh, I don't know what this base is supposed to be, but there's like a pyramid, and there's all these like laser turrets and lightning, and I don't, I can't tell exactly what's going on around me all the time, and I'm not even sure what all is going on around here. I know I'm supposed to be looking for that red canister, but I, I don't even know where to look for that thing, man. Um, I'm doing good just to not crash into the desert. Um, well. <laughs> It's it's the same problems that I had with Bogey, though, and, and Ace Combat, and all those other uh, flight simulation games that we've played on this show. It's just, I can't I can't get the hang of it, um, like, controlling it. We're, this game's a lot more forgiving than most of them have been. Um, like, I feel like I would have died already in many of those games uh, if this was the same situation in those games. But this, this is a lot more forgiving in terms of, like, crashing into things not killing me automatically and maybe that's because it does have like a force field things I, I i know i saw something about like the force field being down but i guess it's possible it's back up but like yeah i can fly into something and just get stuck against it instead of just exploding which is kind of nice for an amateur like me um to have that kind of freedom but uh unfortunately i'm not i'm not adapting well enough to make good use of that uh that liberty um this this so much empty space around here. It's like outside of this little bitty area here with these um these guns that are shooting. I mean, it looks like there's nothing here. It's just this empty space. 
Um, and I, I don't know, other than shooting at the turrets, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be trying to do here. Uh, well, I mean, besides, like, I know I'm supposed to find the canister, but I have no idea where I could possibly even look for it. Um, it's not like I'm wandering around on foot anywhere, and I, I, I'm not even sure how I'm propelling myself. Like, sometimes I'll be moving forward, but sometimes I'm just sitting still. Like, right now I'm barely moving at all, and I don't know why. Um, I don't know what the cause is. Um, did I use up all my missiles? I think I did. Um, that's okay. Uh, just keep shooting at these things, but I'm gonna... Eject! Eject! I died! I died! Okay. Well, that does it. Um, you know what, though? I really... I feel like we can get a little bit more out of this disc, because I've seen some of the videos on here, and the, the the way they're done is very interesting. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to watch all the videos on here too as a bonus. We're done with the games now. And if you're only interested to in see me play games, then you can stop the video here. But I want to see these. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, do that. And I'll, I'll just edit them together here. I'll, I'll stick with you guys while we watch them though. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's what we'll do. This is the... Uh, the shootout trailer here. It's got the same thing there at the start, but here we go. This time it's just gonna... Well, it looks like it's gameplay almost, but we're not playing now. We're just watching the gameplay. This is interesting. The, a lot of the videos on here have, like, are edited in a way that reminds me of the, um, of the opening video that we saw, that, where they're kind of frenetic, or they're showing lots of things back and forth, but they're really choppy and just kind of amateurish. But this is just showing gameplay, which is kind of straightforward. Um, not a not a whole lot to it, um, but it, it is kind of interesting to see the the way the game's supposed to be look like. When I played it, it was just so one sided, and I was all over the place, not doing anything well at all. But here we actually get to see some back and forth, which is kind of nice. Um, this they're still getting out of bounds though. Uh, I never did figure out exactly what the bars at the top are meant to represent. Um. Maybe that's because I, I'm just not familiar with basketball games in general. I don't know if they're representing like stamina or momentum or or even like a stati like statistics like their jump shot or something. I don't. There's like an A and a B, but I don't know what those represent either. Um, and it's interesting to keep showing these like player cards to these like photos of the player whenever they do something. I guess that's the only way to really get the player's likeness in the game since the. The graphics are too rudimentary at this stage to really get, like, good facial recognition. Like, these guys all look the same. Um, like, you can tell them apart by, like, their skin color, like, the... But that's a... That's really all you've got to go off of, because they all have pretty much the same face. Whoa! Holy crap, he... I have no idea what that was, but that was interesting. Well, the, uh, the Die Hard video ended up just being the same one that we saw when we played it earlier, so I'm not gonna bother watching it again, but this is the VR Soccer, uh, video here. Um, again, it, hopefully it'll be useful to see the the game played a little bit more competently there, but, um, well, it says, uh, it's loading the demo here, but that's, uh, well, that is another thing. When I, when I loaded the, the Die Hard one, it did go into, like, the regular, uh, it had the menu there for a second, so I could play the demo, but, um, let's, let's just see if this is, if this is, like, the basketball one where it shows us some gameplay. Or if it's, um, if it's different. But it doesn't look like we're playing here. So, um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're playing on their own. Okay. I said to be sure, I don't, I don't actually know on all these. I know some of the games, I, like, I went and watched the, uh, the Chronicles of the Sword one already. And, uh, and some, a couple of the others. Just because I'll, like, while I'm recording, I'll just leave it on the menu and then the video will start. So I know that, um, most of the games have a video, but then, I, like I said, the Die Hard one, basically just loaded the same the game just like if I had selected it so I don't know if that if there are other games on here that do that too where it'll just act like I picked like I selected the game but here um we need to see the game a little bit better here it's it's interesting we get to see some different angles here like in in the gameplay it was very zoomed out so we never got like this sort of um camera work at least not that I recall where it was like some dynamic camera angles and stuff um, we got a, like, we got a little bit of it. Obviously the camera wasn't stationary when we played, but it, it wasn't quite like this, at least not that I recall it. Most of stayed on the same side of the field. Um, but, yeah, no, this is interesting to, just to, to see here. Uh, it's, 
it's a little bit funny how competitive this is compared to, to our game, which was far from it. But, um, <laughs> like, the ball keeps going back and forth between them. They keep stealing it from each other and tripping over each other there. Uh, yeah. So, um, I, again, I, uh, this game isn't really my, my thing as far as, like, just my interests. I, none of the sports games ever are. But it's, I do kind of enjoy it in a little bit. Like, I would, I wouldn't want to play it or anything. But I, there's something kind of, I don't know, I guess charming is the word. I've used that word a lot in, in this episode. But just the, uh, the way it, it looks and, and plays, there's, um, it, even the way the, uh, the announcer sounds, it's, there's just something about it that's a bit more pleasant than just a really, uh, more realistic, serious, uh, I almost called it football, but I'm American, it's a soccer game. Um, but there we go, it's over, and they all kind of run really awkwardly into the back there, but that's, yeah, that's VR soccer. And there's the, uh, the same information we saw before, the top 44 international teams, uh, customize your team starters information, 22 main squads, uh, watch the replay from any angle. Okay, so, so far our, um, our videos haven't been terribly entertaining, like, compared to well, like this here is is showing us different things. It's not just straight up gameplay, which is really nice. But um, I do, I am glad that we get to spend a little bit more time with these games because, like, the demos all went by so fast. Even some of the ones that I played twice uh, just were gone <laughs> so quickly that I feel like it's nice to get this this chance to sit here and um, and spend a little bit more time with these games. And this this one here obviously is Need for Speed. Um, we get to see some of the different tracks, which is nice. Ooh, that's kind of interesting looking. Um, but also it's, it's edited, so we get to see lots of different things. It's just exciting to, to have some differences that we see a crash even. Oh, and that's it. Now we're playing the, the video from the start again. Well, the, um, the, the videos here are going by quickly too, but here's the salt rigs, which already is interesting. It's kind of, um, I, I don't know how the transition's going to look, but it's, it actually reminds me of the opening video with the, the text there, the way it is. But I'm really glad we get to see more of this game. It's, um, I'm very curious about this. Like, look at some of these really super video game -y looking levels. Like, some of these textures and stuff being used. It's so, um, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever played a game that looks like this on a console. Like, I played PC games that look kind of like that. But, yeah, there we go. It's over again already. Everything on this disc just goes by so quickly. And here we've got more of that same type of editing there. I don't know why these games got special videos that match the style of the disc, but here we get a, a little bit of our, a look at this game. Like, some of it's still the same garbage we saw when we actually tried playing it, but, um, you know, full interaction. You wouldn't believe it, right? But look, there's, uh, there's text, there's even a voiceover, um, and it's memory card and mouse compatible. That's good to know. Um, yeah, there we get to see the guy's name is Gawain, uh, after the character from Arthurian Legend. And it's over! Just so quick! You almost have to wonder if that's the only way they could fit everything onto this disc, because there is a lot on here for a PS1 disc, especially an early one, uh, compared to a lot of the other PlayStation 1 discs we've seen that only have, like, three or four games, but this one has eight games and four videos. And then it's also got an extra video for each game. Um, Pegasus Japan. Did we, did we see that logo before? Um, and there was, a some kind of voice over there. I didn't actually hear it, I was talking, but... Uh, yeah, this is our, um, the first of our two flight simulators, the, uh, Bogey Dead 6 is what it was called, right? Um, so this is actually, like, a fully rendered video that we didn't get to see anything like this when we played it. We just got, like, this first-person view. Like, the the graphics quality here is obviously a lot better than the in-game, uh, graphics. Um, you can see a full city there, stuff that, we never saw anything like this when we were, um, playing the game. Though it is a bit... It is a bit misleading, like, this is all you saw of the, the game, it wouldn't tell you anything about what the gameplay is actually like. Um, all it tells you is that it's got fighter jets in it, which, I mean, yeah, it does, but, uh, that, I don't know. Um, it, no, this is, it's interesting, the, the things they chose to market this, and this one also didn't get the, uh, the themed text graphics that the, uh, the last two videos had. Um, <laughs> look at that, that was like a... A stock GIF explosion. Like I've got, I've seen GIFs like that that I can just you can just edit in anywhere. It's anyway. Uh, yeah, Bogey Dead Six. Um, that 
That's all it is. So this is the Warhawk uh, video. Um, right off the bat, it looked a lot like the uh, the opening of the game. But here we go. We got we got music. We got people shooting at us. We're not in first person, which um, is I didn't know was an option uh, when I played it. It was yeah, it was all like this here. Um, but I guess you can play it in third person, which I think I would enjoy it better if uh, I was playing it that way. And look at that. That's how. Okay, that's where the the red thing was. We were trying to get is um, it was inside one of the the little buildings, but I just, I didn't see the door, I guess, or our way in. I didn't, or I didn't notice it when we were playing, but, uh, yeah, that, so that's interesting, and, like, some of these stages look pretty cool, like, I like the interior ones a lot, like, look at this, that's awesome, um, but then, like, yeah, we got, like, the worst stage in the demo, like, all of this looks way more, way more interesting than what we saw before, like, what is that giant demon head and, um, all this cool stuff, so... Yeah, that's Warhawk. Alright, so here's where we start watching videos to games we haven't played, like Crazy Ivan, uh, Crazy with the K. Um, this is interesting looking already. We've got, like, mechs, but then there's this... Is Are those real people? Like, um, stunning graphics and strategic gameplay. There was some of the... We saw some shots of... Yeah, some of this footage is... Um, just, like... I don't know, I can't tell for sure if it's fully rendered, because I've seen graphics that look like that these days, but... Yeah, no, it's just, like, video footage of people intercut with this, like, gameplay footage. Is that in the game? Do they have, like, actual actors to cut act out the cutscenes in the game? That's interesting. It's Link Cable compatible. Um, I don't even actually know exactly what that means, but... I don't know, like, this game looks kind of fun, but... The video just stopped right out, out of nowhere on me, but this is Aquanauts Holiday. Um, a really interesting title. I don't know, uh, what to make of it. Here we've got this fish slowly rendering into view here. Um, it's an ugly, ugly thing. Um, okay, so, as an aquanaut, we apparently swim around. Um, this is looking a lot like a low-res Echo the Dolphin. Uh, minus the dolphin. I don't know, it's, it's just this, we're just looking at things underwater. Is... Is an Aquanauts holiday because they're just looking at stuff? <laughs> Look at that guy's head swell up. Um, and we got some fish swimming in loops there. I don't know. What is, like, what is this game? Is it just looking at video game fish? Like, that's all the video is showing us. It's just, we're just looking at these fish. And some of them are pretty weird and freaky looking, but there's a manta ray. Um, but it's not. Like, I'm not seeing gameplay so far. Do we just swim around and... Okay, it, that one ended on me too. They don't give me any warning when these end. And this this has, like, no loading screens either. So it's just, like, I'm just automatically in the, uh, the menu. Speaking of the menu, the menu music is still playing in this video here for, uh, um... I, I don't even remember what the name of this one was. The, the baseball one that we saw in the menu. Uh, it's like MLB Pennant Race, I think, or something like that. The ball, it looks weird here. Like, it looked like it flew at us, but then they all acted like... Yeah, when he hits it, it looks like the ball gets closer to us, but then the, but then all of a sudden it's out in the field. What is... That's weird. I don't know what's causing that. Uh, this demo feels... Or this video feels partially complete. Like, the umpire there just, like, fades in and out. And then it just went back to the menu. The, the menu music never stopped. Uh, <laughs> here we are with Street Fighter. Um, which is cool. I love Street Fighter, uh, especially classic Street Fighter like this. I played some of this in the arcade, not as much as I played like Mortal Kombat um, or even Tekken, though Tekken was later in my life. But uh, I, I did like Street Fighter a lot. Um, I still love all the like really colorful characters and all that stuff. I wish we could have played this. That would have been fun. But it, it's neat to see some of the gameplay here too, um, just because I just like this this style of the uh, the original. Uh, Street Fighter games. And there's, um, there's Rose and M. Bison. Yep, Street Fighter Alpha, Warrior's Dreams. And that's it. Um, that's the, uh, that's everything we've got here. Uh, really fascinating disc. And I've got a couple others that look like they're from the same line that we'll be playing at some point in the future. I don't know when. But, uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'm glad you guys could be here for my 50th episode anniversary. And you know, whether this was your 50th episode that you've seen, or your first, uh, I hope you'll stick around and watch uh, 50 more with me in the future as we uh, we head on and we've 
got just so many other demos to play, good and bad, just like we had here. But um, until uh, until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye.